do Kaito and see how it goes. I want to see what the premise is of this. Yeah, I did more in Lost and Lost Judgment than I did in Judgment. That's for sure. <laughs> HD, like, isn't that crazy though? Like how much there fuck it is in these games. Like, and I was like forty hours, nearly. and I still like I was only at thirty two point nine percent. Like that's ridiculous. <laughs> like if they give him kind of a badass intro. It's funny. Home coming down here to meet me wasn't too inconvenient for you, Hoshino-san. I'm Senda from Bato Detective Agency. <sighs> Get out of here. Fly thing or whatever you are. Uh, so, you were kind of vague on the phone. What were you trying to get at? You really don't know what this is about? Rocking those shades at this time of night is telling me a different story, son. Mark of a guilty conscience. Yeah, or he's just a Corey Hart fan. not the case. Anyway, what did you want to discuss? It's what I was telling you over the phone. We got a request from Saori Shirasaki to look into you, but... I figured I'd do you a solid and let you see what I found before I reported back to my client. Yeah, but what's this? <laughs> you don't recognize your girl? We snapped a quick pic when she came to the office. No way. Why would Sauri, son? The way I hear it, you two are getting engaged soon so you can finally tie the knot. What? Sometimes women get cold feet, you know? They just want to know what they're getting into. I see it all the time. You... Okay, then. So, what did you find, sir? I haven't done anything that would incriminate me. And this is a violation of detective client privilege. You're breaking the rules. Oh, no, that's a pretty good one. As I'd expect from a lawyer. Mm -hmm. But, Hoshino, you really think you can bluff your way out of this shot? <gasps> well, well, well. I do believe that's you strolling out of a Kamurocho love hotel. So <laughs> Who is what? This guy? No, this guy would. <laughs> Hope you made it worth your time. What? This is. You've got it all wrong. Whoa, whoa, whoa. take it easy, would you? Come on, Oshino-san. We don't have to play by the <laughs> rules here. What is? What's Simply, happening? You wouldn't do I this. Make this whole thing disappear for you. The only reason lawyers don't go to hell is because they can afford not to. In other words, you're saying I have to pay you now to delete that picture? Nothing In I Bitcoin. More than a fast <laughs> learning kid. Four million yen. This goes up in smoke, and the client never has to hear anything to the contrary. Four million yen? I don't have that kind of money. Your whole damn future is riding on this deal I'm making you. It's a small price to pay, isn't it? Yeah, but... Hey, Hoshino. Would you prefer that I send this to your office with a nice little bow? I... What did he do? There's no way. So, you take the client's money up front. Then you shake down the mark for another four million on top. Man, you corrupt detectives. Really oh my god, really he's in disguise. Things. He looks oh, ridiculous. Fuck. You were in the Matsugane. And you're Shiro Senda. You were a former lieutenant in the Bato family. And right now, you're on my turf. Is this a sting that he set up? This is crazy. Kaito-san, that was my acting. Not bad if I say so myself. Huh? Acting? One of your old clients came to us to help her get her money back. As it turns out, your little extortion racket has been getting around. And that's why Oshinokun and Saori san He looks so weird. <laughs> that All that's left to do is bag your ass with it. Ain't that right, Oshinokun? Yep. I got the whole thing on tape. Hey. All right. That'll be 4 million yen you took from your client, plus 300,000 for annoying me. You need to hit an ATM. <laughs> <laughs> Why Kaito even let that happen to that fire? That's crazy. 
Oh, weird. He's so big on the screen compared to <laughs> compared to Yagami. Oh my god, he just pushes through. He doesn't even jump over stuff. Oh, he jumps over that. Okay. He just tells people to move. He's got all different button presses on these. It's funny. That's weird. <laughs> he just yells. That's great. Oh, I'm going to like this. This is funny playing as Kaito. He's so ridiculous already. You like playing as him? Yeah. I already like beat him like to the end. He's got to run ahead already. He's done. Yeah, look how far he's gonna run ahead. Yeah. <laughs> he drop kicks. Him. <laughs> That's funny. He doesn't tackle him. He drop kicks him. Holy shit. Cool skills, yeah. Your office is in Camaracho, right? How about you give me a little inside tour? <laughs> yeah, he's awesome. It's funny seeing him in the like dad sweater, though. He just looks ridiculous. Send up. The hell's this about? Boss, I, I kind of screwed up. Yeah. Kind of did. I know you. You're with the Matsugane family. The name's Kaito, and I'm with the Yagami Detective Agency now. <laughs> you call this dump an office? It's got the scent of illicit Yakuza business all over it. Are you trying to scare your clients? It's bullet holes. <laughs> I take it you're not one of those clients. What do That's you good. Want? I love it. You the head honcho around here? Igarashi's the name. I'm the Bato Detective Agency's chief consultant. You can find cats in this, give you different stuff. Do you have to like make your friendship level go up with You're the cats the like before? Family, right? Didn't you guys used to call yourselves the Tojo Clan R and D? You dig up dirt no? okay. the cops and their families. All the twist, the long arm of the law. Seems going legit hasn't taught you a damn thing. And it's making us real detectives look bad. That shit won't fly around me. Hate to burst your bubble, but we got a customer satisfaction rate of over 80%. So kindly take your bitching and blow it out your ass. Then why don't I cut to the chase? I'm here for the million yen you grifted out of my client. Plus, 300 grand for the trouble. Make it snappy, and I'll leave a souvenir. You're screwed more than sideways in the cops here. Senda, you clusterfuck. <laughs> Real sorry. Well, I suppose I should give you credit for leaving a competitor right to us. Uh, yeah. Things that you've taken. All right, I knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> we can throw down, but fair warning, I'm tacking on extra for the ass whooping. All right, cut the yapping. Shut this idiot up permanently. Get me. When to use bruiser? Balance, battle style, hand to hand combat, resolute combat. Okay. Skill to repel attacks, leaving enemies exposed. Okay, cool. Uh, it's like, uh, it's kind of like Kiru's uh, bruiser. Well, his like yellow stance, right? It's like tanky. 
Well, his was a heavy stance, I guess, technically. Fuck. He hits so big, like, when he swings. Jesus. Look at this. Look at the blood. Jeez, man. Oh, nice. Come on, not already. Ah, thought I could maybe do something more there. I got no counters yet. Nice. Well, he definitely does a lot more damage when he's an EX. But no counter for EX. Well, then, he's weird. He's stiff. Like but it feels like... Feels like, a feels like here a little bit. Now I can make him pick up weapons. Kaito. Mark my words. You can probably pick up bigger things you're thinking, like motorcycles and stuff. You can pick That's them up with Yagami, cool. too. But you have to do it while you're in EX. <laughs> Uh, EX and I think fuck, was it crane certain stance with EX can pick up motorcycles oh, I can't believe you got my money back from those crooks how can I ever thank you no need I was just taking out the town garbage your <laughs> husband wasn't even cheating on you was he <sighs> no but they still threatened to tell him I booked an investigation Believe me, you're not alone here. Yeah, that's what I'm There's thinking, Jeremy. Yeah, yeah makes sense. Con artists operating as detectives. See, normally, ex Yakuza have to wait five years before they can open a detective business. In. So they'll often skirt the law by setting up a civilian to be the agency's owner. Oh. Uh. I see. Actually, I did find it strange how much cheaper they were than other agencies. Well. With the Yagami Detective Agency, we don't charge a yen until you see results. We're a name you can That's trust. cool that he works for the Yagami Detective Agency and you get to see him actually doing work don't hesitate to on his own by. without tack, you know? It's cool. I think I'll be fine for now. I, I was always waiting for that. Husband. See him on his own. But thank you. By the way, Hoshinoko, how are things really going with Saori-san? Well, as far as I'm concerned, I'm in it for the long haul. But sometimes I can't help but wonder if we're actually even together. You guys yeah, that'd be cool, Jim. Yeah. Three years? Never thought about getting hitched? Of course. At least I, I have. As for whether Saori-san would be receptive to the idea... Doubton's only gonna drive her away. Yeah, like maybe that's what they can do to continue judgment, but maybe there's some like contract agreement that they can't continue judgment without the actor. You never know, right? And I'll be rooting for you, pal. It depends on how their contracts are written up. On that note, I'd better get going. Plus they might have already had judgment three planned and said, like, hey, you know, like it's all about like Yagami and Kaito doing what they do and yada yada, and then if they're like there's no Yagami then they're like, they have to go all the way back and rewrite it. And that would be a weird bit of a weird pivot without him. Well, looky here. It's tough. He's doing a job for Genda Sensei. That's cool. Went in the mountains, that's funny. What's the good word, Kaito on a key? Just thought you might want to go have a drink. I like how he said, What's the good word? That's so yeah, crazy. The thing is, I kind of have a <laughs> dinner meeting tonight. A dinner meeting? <laughs> Sounds pretty fancy for an arcade manager. Yeah, you're telling me. See, the thing is, we're opening up a new location in Eugene Show. 
managed to hit it off with a guy who rents us our equipment. Turns out he's a CEO looking to invest. Whoa! So you nice. the owner of two arcades? Looks like it. Man, look at you moving up in the world. Yeah, well, to be honest, I'd rather knock one back with my Aniki. Nah, you do your thing. Some other time, okay? Sounds good, Aniki. Oh, almost forgot. I heard this from one of the part-timers at Charles, but apparently some kid came looking for you. Some kid? I guess. I wasn't the one who saw him. But evidently, this punk had some fight in him. Our guys chased him out before he could start any shit. What the hell's a kid like that want with me? You tell me, man. But not right now. I, I gotta prep for that meeting. Cool, you get to catch up with everybody, see what happened after, I guess. Neat. Greetings. You've reached Yokohama 99. Yo, it's Kaito. Wanna go get drinks? You, me, and Sugiura? Ah, uh, I'm afraid Sugiura, she's not available. Right now, he's out looking into an affair. Huh. Okay, what about you? It's been a while, you know? Uh... Well, I do appreciate the invite. Tonight's not good for me either. It's not? How come? <laughs> because tonight is reserved for anime. A very special one. It's the premiere of Love Star 3, the movie, Director's Cut Edition. <laughs> I can hardly contain myself. Oh, come on. An anime? Can't you just record the damn thing? I don't think you get it, Kaito-san. A premiere only happens once, and then it's history. You have to watch the stream while it's live and keep the chat turned on. That's the experience. Huh? You gotta do what now? <laughs> He's like such an I old know. man. <laughs> Kaito-san, if you like, I can add you to our Love Star community. That way we can voice chat online while you have your drink at home. It's a win-win. I'm sure my friends would love to welcome you. Yeah, Tsukumo, I don't know. It sounds like a lot to me. I think I'm gonna sit this one out. Gosh, I was just about to give you a breakdown on Love Star's deeper themes. Oh, well. Oh, the stream's about to go live. Until next time. Yeah, I don't know about this Love Star thing. Is this a real thing? Like, I don't know. I don't know. It's come up a few times now. Pretty sure he's talked about the first game too. Pretty sure he did. Kaito yeah, I don't know either. Is everything okay? Yeah, just thought we could grab a drink. You gonna look it up? Oh, yeah. Well, uh, like I said before, I still have work to do. The hell, you're not done yet? Not even close. Plus, Sauri san needs my help after this. Yeah, I get it. Can't tear a man away from the love of his life. Something like that. Anyway, let's try it some other time. Damn. Nothing. Well, for a drink solo. <laughs> He's so sad. Well, I could always show my face at Tinder. Maybe I'll bump into someone I know. Okay, let's look at his stuff. Man, the back of his head looks like a ridiculous pattern, right? Like, like <laughs> it doesn't quite look like hair. It looks like an actual pattern. It's a website you can watch anime. Okay, maybe that's why they called the anime love star for that. Boost health. Boost attack. 5,000. Gifted brawler. 100% more SP. Sure, let's do that. He's got a bunch of stuff. Boost recovery. He, uh, still patronized. That's the wrecking it. Heavy drinker. Drunken warrior. Same stuff. Primal nose. Heightened sense of awareness. Pick up on subtle sense. <laughs> what? Primal ear. What the fuck? Okay, whatever. Near knockdown enemies, like all the basic knockdowns, okay. 
you can smell? Yeah, that's so funny. Like, what is he, a fucking werewolf? Like, it doesn't make any sense. Like, yeah. That's so funny. Yeah, there it is. What's that smell? Huh? <laughs> like a feral beast. It says like a feral beast. Kaito's senses of sight and smell and hearing are superior to that of an average person. Holy fuck. Oh yeah, definitely a cat. Hey, there's a cat right there. Hey, he's looking at me. It's kind of creepy. Hmm. Bloody crest? Huh? Hmm. That's so ridiculous. You gotta find a lot of them, yeah. That's, that's like the dumbest shit. Really funny at the same time, you know what I mean? Like, it's so dumb. Also, he's got disguises too, I see. Rugged stakeout, that was the one he was in, work clothes. You can get... Oh, bloody crest, like, right away, I can already put this on. Attack increase by 5% of the low health, reduces bleeding, yeah, defense, okay, cool. That's really funny. Wow, the way he hits is just nasty. Like, it just hits so hard. You can't really, like, grab and lock on, though. Oh! Nice. Coup de gras, huh? That's cool. It smells trash or food. Yeah, but it's just so funny, right? Like, it's just... It's so different. I have no recovery items. I should probably get something. Uh, this is the drugstore, right? Yeah. Yeah, I figured he's only gonna hold three or whatever of each. Yeah, those are too expensive. Safety belt, wristband. Okay, so he's got kind of all the same items. Fierce mouth guard. That's a different one. I didn't see that yet. Okay. I like it though. It's neat. It's fun playing as like Kaito finally, you know, and like I feel like we should have got this in the first game. Dunno. But I thought the Tojo clan was long gone. If I really need that drink. Go to another bar. <laughs> Why did that plate have XOXO on it? It shows if you're near something. Okay. Gotcha. Kaito san, come join us. You by yourself? Yeah. Talks out of town helping Genda sensei. This will be gone another couple days. Aha. Uh -huh. So is the sidekick getting lonely without the leading man? <laughs> In your dreams, Mari. Awesome. <laughs> the usual. You see any shit going down outside? I overheard someone talking about a murder. Ah, that. Apparently, the victim was a young executive. Actually, there was a similar case yeah. a few yeah, days Yeah, she ago. was. Yeah, she was. It part. caused quite a stir. I believe the man was a CEO. Some killers out to eat the rich, huh? Who knows? Crazy world out there. Uh, speaking of which, did you finish the job I found you? Oh, I kicked the crap out of those swindlers. And Hoshino-kun put on quite the show. <laughs> really? Oh, I wish I could have seen the pros at work. No one else. I think Hoshino-kun and Saori-san are just about there. The fellow was all riled up, saying this'll be the year. By that, you mean they're tying the knot? You must have a huge liver. The question is, <laughs> will Saori-san give I don't know if having a bigger liver is necessarily <laughs> indicative of, like, if you can know. handle more drinks. <laughs> might not turn out well. Yeah. I suppose your gut's usually right, Mari. It's not like a stomach. I don't I don't think it's like a stomach. Like, it can hold more food. Maybe? Whoa. 
Since when was this about me? <laughs> because you clearly have no trouble talking to women, but I never hear what happens in the end. What happens in the end is rejection. Yeah? Well, maybe I like being a free agent. You call it rejection. I call it release. And even if I do keep getting shot down, so what? Every beauty who walks away... Even though I've heard his voice as Kaito for like hours and hours and hours, <laughs> I still hear his voice from Spider-Man <laughs> and I can't help it. Honestly, Mari, that's all talk. Pretty sure he was like Shocker or something like that. And I'm like, I, I hear his voice and I'm like thinking Saturday morning cartoons. That's all I can do. You're kidding. Kaito-san, a husband? Yo, could we not go there? Oh, shoot, her name was on the tip of my tongue. I suppose it's been over a decade now. You two were living together, right? I think her name... Masada, look, that's a long story. Some other time, okay? Hmm? Oh. Sure thing. Uh, by the way, you got any more Yeah, his voice is good. We've been it's got a good, like, cartoon voice. So if you could hook it up. Actually, that reminds me. A man came by asking about you. He said he was looking for someone. Mm hmm He wanted me? Specifically? I don't know the details, but he wants to meet you. He's the CEO of some tech company. Oh, a tech company, eh? What's the offer? He said he's prepared to pay two million up front. Two million? Two million? Well, well, that's mighty generous. Apparently, it's for any investigation expenses that come up. And when it's done, he'll pay an extra 20 million. 20 million? Depending on the outcome, he might pay even more. <laughs> he must be swimming in. I know Kaito's dumb, <laughs> but like, that Sounds should be like a red flag, offer, right? But do you really want to do it alone? Especially with your boss out of town. Someone's willing to pay this much. Something's up. You and the client might drop the case and run. He's gonna go for right? it. Right? At least find a smart looking jacket to cover whatever that is. Huh, indeed. <laughs> That's how he always dresses up. Uh, like. sure. He loves his flower shirts. No faith in me, huh? Well, I'm not putting on a show for him or anyone else. True style doesn't change with the tides. Not to Got a point. It's the heart that counts. Watch me knock this guy's socks off. Just be a plain old Kaito. <laughs> it, just even him mentioning himself in third person is so ridiculous. I love it though. He's such a good character. He's the perfect sidekick, and it's kind of weird to see him as a main character. Like, that's the thing. Like, I don't know without Tack, like, if they were to do a third judgment without Tack, that I don't think it would work. I just, he just, I don't know. Kaito wouldn't be the character. He couldn't be the main character. I don't feel like he could hold it. They'd have to like, he'd have to grow a lot to become the main character. He'd have to be more well-rounded, a little more balanced. This tea's about to expire. <laughs> hey, Banaki, what's with the suit and tie? What? It's I funny how he just said he was like, I'm not going to change anything. Dress for the occasion. And then he does it like right away. After all, a pro's got to look the part too. I mean, yeah. You never give a rat's ass about that stuff. So I start now. Uh, today's just special, all right? Oh, damn. Okay. But do you really need me here? Don't you get it? If I'm busy talking this guy up, who's gonna offer some tea? <laughs> the landlady? Besides, you poured in the Matsugane family for years. The boss loved your tea, remember? Whoa, hang on. That was a long time ago. Well, 
I'm counting on you today. I'm paying you 50,000 just to serve two people. Coming from you, that's pretty generous. How much is this gig worth anyway? Uh, that's a matter of <laughs> detective client privilege. This is funny. It's like seeing all the like dumb sidekicks like trying to work without a leader like it's actually really funny to see it it's such a different dynamic like this is what happens when you're playing as talk and they're out doing their own shit hello there they're I'm barely sure keeping it together <laughs> like, that's what's that. happening thanks for having me whoa two hands wow this guy is formal thanks for coming I'm Masaharu Kaito, an investigator here. I'm Higashi, just a part-timer. It really is great to meet you, Kaito-san. I've heard so much about you. Good things, I hope? Of course. You're a legend in these parts, aren't you? I'm not uh... so sure about that. Oh, but first, please, take a seat. Enjoy. Ah, why, thank you. Well then, uh, his neck is so big and his business? shoulders aren't that wide. I understand your Very weird. To me. He doesn't have this balance. That would be my wife. My deceased wife, actually. Your deceased wife. Pretty weird, yeah. <laughs> Can you give me some more details? I was under the impression she went missing. Well, I lost her about two years ago. She took her own life. I see. I'm very sorry. Let me rephrase then. You want us to find her, even though you know she passed away? Yes, well... Why don't I start from the time she died? Two years ago. My wife left a suicide note at home one day and disappeared. Ah. As you can imagine, I went right to the police. Upon finding nothing, she was declared a missing person. Six months later, they recovered a body, possibly my wife's, on a riverbed in the mountains of Chiba. There's a large waterfall nearby, from which she likely jumped. Her body was decomposed beyond recognition. But authorities later identified her based on something she was carrying. And what was that? A photograph. In it was her and our son. I see. But was that really enough to ID her? Wouldn't they have done some sort of analysis? Yes. I requested a DNA test be performed. Lo and behold, my wife was a near perfect match. Then, at that point, her death was all but certain. Yet, you still believe she's alive? Yeah, this is strange. Ago, my wife's friend said she saw someone in Kamurocho that looked like her. This woman, according to my wife's friend, was with some unfamiliar man. And when the friend called out her name, she froze. Then she immediately fled. Is it possible this was all just a coincidence? Believe me, I considered that. The DNA test had more or less cemented her death in my mind. But then I started doing my own research, and I found that DNA test results aren't always set in stone. Especially in cases where the body's in an advanced state of decomposition, the results can vary widely. Oh, I shit. I came across an astonishing article in which someone's lost relative showed up after a DNA test said they died. After reading that, who wouldn't have hoped that their dear wife is still somewhere out there? <sighs> Mind you, this woman was the spitting image of my wife. Her voice was a perfect match, too. And this is coming from a friend who's known her for years. As she herself put it, there's no way it wasn't her. She's trying to hide. Why would she go back to like her old neighborhood, right? Why is he paying so much? How is he paying so much? Inquire about the compensation. 
I contacted Tender for the two million in advance, plus another twenty million upon completion. Yes. Regardless of the outcome, I intend to have at least that much prepared. And I kind of feel bad. When you say at least that much. You mean? If you manage to find my wife safe and sound, I'll throw in another ten million. What does this guy do? Why does he have all this money? So, a grand total of 32 million? Hey, Anaki. Just checking. I'm being paid 50,000. <laughs> oh, yeah, I got you right there. Oh, serving some damn tea. Got a problem? Oh, no, it's fine. <laughs> now I see where all that generosity is coming. It's funny because he's like a business owner and he's opening up a second business, like location and all this. And he's sitting here serving tea. He's like, oh, 50,000? Serve some tea? Sure. <laughs> like, he just... We have more important shit to do right now. Sir? He doesn't have photos of his wife? There are detectives about this. But none of them could turn up any leads. Then I heard you were working as a detective. In Kamurocho, no less. Immediately, I thought to myself... If anyone can find my wife, it's him. Do we already know who this Consider person is? Is that what it is? How well acquainted you are. Oh my god, we know who this is. You say I know her? <sighs> oh. Anaki, isn't that... I have no idea who that is. Mikiko? Yes. Mikiko Natsume was her maiden name. I understand you used to live together long ago. And that sums up why I'm here. Because of how intimately you know her. Hmm. Okay. So some Kaito backstory, I guess. You're really going to go? After what they did to the boss. I can't just sit back. <laughs> Look at this old hair. That's <laughs> funny. So you are family. That's so funny. Than me. So it's his ex. Okay. I understand how bizarre this request might be, but I know you can get to the bottom of it. You lived with Mikiko in this very town. You knew her better than anyone. Kaito-san, I'm begging you. On a trip. Won't you bring her back? On a trip. <laughs> I'd heard rumors, but I never thought they'd be true. He looked like Mark McGrath with that shitty hair. That was so funny. Sadamoto-san, are you sure Mikiko took her own life? You mean... She did leave a suicide note. Why, though? The Mikiko I knew would never do that, no matter what the reason. Honestly, I wish I knew. The note was sparse on details. The hell does that mean? Aren't you supposed to be her husband? <sighs> For what my memory's worth. If it was sparse on details, maybe it was a fake suicide note, right? And, I was so busy and then they just kept it generic. Time. Maybe. I failed to give her support. I was hardly even home half the time. It was only when she left me that I realized how poorly I treated her. <sighs> so, let's say Mikiko is alive. Then what? It's gonna be one big happy reunion? I don't really have an answer for that. I doubt she'd even want to look at me. But then again, we do have our son to consider. He's 14 already. His name's June. So, Mikiko's got a kid and everything. Yes. And he 
he's just as rambunctious as his mother. He took off once he heard she might be alive. Took off at 14? Damn. I told him to stay put. The moment my back was turned, he was gone. Wait, he ran away? He did. About two weeks ago. I thought he might pull something like this, so I set up location tracking on his phone. But, being that he left his phone in his room, he must have figured that out. Outsmarted by a teenager. Uh, I swear. Why would he leave his phone? On his own at his age? At 14, he's what? In middle school? Yeah, why would he leave his phone behind, too? Like, how, how could you do that? He hangs out with these delinquents, often couch surfing for days at a time. Of course, I want to talk. Since most days, I missed the last train. Yeah, to not get and tracked, but like, hotel, what teenager would literally leave their gone. house without a phone? Like, How about without that? maps, without okay. apps, without That's all anything, right? Like, right now. I need your help. Either this is written by someone that's too old, <laughs> you know, that knows the old ways of how to get by without a phone. Or that kid somehow knows it's how to get by without a phone. Solo, so. And I really doubt that. But I don't think I'm your guy. What? May I ask how, you know how hard it is to get around without a phone these days? Don't think I'm cut out for it. Like so. to travel and do stuff. Come now. <laughs> That's final. There's no way that's final. He's going to leave it. Fine. I know when a mind's made up. What a shame. Can I smoke soon? Oh, okay. I'm almost done. <laughs> okay. You sure you want to let this guy go? That's 32 mil walking away. Not to mention the truth about Mikiko. At least you got somebody there that can speak some sense. I know what I'm Let's drop doing. my controller. Okay, you're the boss. It's a little messed up, right? Like, the premise of this is kind of like... Perfect, <laughs> the way they wrote it, like... To have his backstory in on this, he's thinking about his money. He, I mean, he is. He's gonna get paid fifty thousand. Well, what does he care? Down the shitter. I think that calls for a drink. You uh, want somebody to tag along? Sure, but were you slammed with the new opening and all? Well, I mean, yeah. There's work to be done. I'd have to go inspect the place after. Right. Then you better go deal with that. Glad to hear business is good, though. Sorry about that, Anaki. Oh, and I should open an arcade. Fifty grand, I owe you. <laughs> Don't even worry about it. Tea was on the house today, man. When my Anaki says poor, I serve the best damn cup you ever tried. That shit hasn't changed. Oh, Higashi. You wonderful bastard. Huh? Hey, Anaki, that photo. Damn it. Don't just leave your junk in my office. I should open an arcade here. Montreal should do it. <laughs> should I? There's like some arcades that have like opened up. Around here, like temporary ones, but I'm like, I should open like a real arcade with with pachinko. That would be fucking key. Well, I need a basement location. Guy. If it's not a basement, I'm not interested. Better head on down to Tender and see what else Mossad has got brewing. I've never considered opening a business, like really opening one, but like maybe arcade and pachinko machines the way to go. And hookers, maybe. I at least will be taking a cut of the hookers that I allow to stay out front and do business there. What's up, Fark? All right. Um, oh, there's already like save. 
There's three auto saves? Why are there three auto saves? Whatever, I'll just make my own save. Uh, I'm gonna get going though. I'll come back to Kaito Files uh, another day. I'll be back to this probably on the weekend or during the week at some point. Like tomorrow, I'll probably be playing the ESO event because it's like the last day of the PvP event. But uh, yeah, this is literally all I have less le uh, left of like judgment, like lost judgment, and then um, I'm gonna just pause. I think I'm most stuff until well maybe i'll pick up ragnarok i might have time to pick up uh assassin's creed ragnarok before saints row comes out yeah but i'm gonna have some dinner thanks jeremy appreciate it man let me go raid somebody and see who's online fuck that ending was really good dude that was a really really good ending i liked it everything wrapped up just right i enjoyed it your turn, but um, do do Pfeiffer's online. He's playing Derps, didn't he? The Fife. Go say hi to Pfeiffer. Yeah, I'll see you guys later. I'll be on tomorrow, uh, with some more ESO PvP because I think it's like the last day of the event that I can get in. Uh, so we'll do that, and then yeah, I'll continue this for the rest of the week. Have a good day. Say hi to Pfeiffer. Thanks, y'all, for hanging out. Bye.